Yo, what to do, what to do, YouTube? It's your boy Mike, aka the Crypto Niggas, coming to you with some VV talk. Let's chop it up, man. Um, tomorrow, as you see, coming soon, we got Amazing Spider Man 1963, um, issue number 238. Um, came out in 1963, though, but uh, this is the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. Uh, it's definitely something to try for. You want to go for it once again. VV is hitting us with the uh, limited editions. I guess we can assume now that they are, you know, kind of changing up what they did in the past. I know a lot of people have been yelling for, you know, lower edition sizes when it comes to the current market. And 20,000 was the lower edition size. But now it seems that the only thing that will see 20,000 editions are comic books that won't sell out. But anything that probably could sell out at 20,000, VV will cut that in half and make it a 10,000 in limited edition run for it. So, uh, again, Amazing Spider-Man, uh, issue 238. If you did not know, this is worth going for. Uh, it is, you know, relatively valuable in uh, the real world. You can look it up yourself. You know, you just kind of Google, go on eBay, go to stuff like uh, Key, Key Collectors Comics or uh, Go Collect and just get a general idea of what the uh, real world prices are. The covers are great. But like I said, definitely will be trying for it. Hope we um, all land one. And I uh, hope we all get a secret rare. As we see, it'll be 250 and, uh, you know, what, 225. They keep their their uh, 25 editions. But um, the main thing, the reason why I wanted to come today is because uh, something that's big within the community that's talked about right now. And I um, want to bring it up here. Let me see. Let me bring it up. Oh, there we go. We already got it selected, though. But the VV logo. Let's talk about this VV logo, okay? A lot of speculation or a lot of things. Um, number one, I want to say, is that uh, VV, in my opinion, the owners and everything, they need to learn how to kind of put their foot down and keep their foot down, um, have a clear plan, have a roadmap, and kind of stick to it. Uh, stop, you know, I, f I feel like they need to kind of stop uh, making up things as they go, you know, because, I mean, there's definitely was, this wasn't in the plans whatsoever. Um, they said to us that we'll be able to get the blue and white things through a queue system, whatever that was supposed to happen. And then I feel like they just decided on a whim to like, Hey, let's do this and give it out to people who come out to the event. You know, um, they might've listened to someone who's, you know, probably close to them or something like that. But anyway, like I said, I believe the VV, they need to learn how to just have their plan and stick to it and stop changing it so much. I mean, it is good that they, you know, tend to try and listen to feedback in the community, but at the same time, they have to understand that the feedback that's coming from majority of the community, I'm not saying everyone, but majority, their feedback is based upon what it is that they want to see or they like or what it is that will probably benefit them. Not many people in this world, period, has the ability to see all things from a macro, macro standpoint, removing themselves and not basically having their own success in mind. So um, let's just take a look here at the VV logo. Um, the floor right here is 5,800. Kind of feel like somebody even purchased one or it was delisted because I think I saw one around 5,300 not too long ago. So with the possibilities, they saying if you hold this logo, you go to certain events, you'll be able to get, you know, uh, physical rewards and prizes for it. Um, that's, you know, that sounds good. That sounds cool. Um I would be all for it, to be honest with you, if, um, you know, that was just something in the DV's plans from, from day one, you know, and it's not something that they've been changing up. I mean, I'm not saying they had to have it available since day one, but we've had plenty of AMAs. We've heard them speak their minds and speak their thoughts many of times over the past um year and a half, going on two years. And this was never a plan, you know, all when, when giving out the ideas of renting NFTs and stuff like that. None of this was ever said. It was never said that, you know, maybe one day we'll reward people who come to the physical, to the events with physical items and we'll have this or that. You know, and then, I mean, so that's my main thing is that they need to just kind of have things, you know, clear and concise and kind of stick to it. But either way, neither here or there, it is what it is. What I do want to say is that people need to kind of tread lightly. Vivi need to tread lightly. lightly. They've been doing a good job in a sense with Omi and also with Vivi trying to make sure that they fall within um you know certain regulations and laws and things of that nature though but um you might have heard of this article you've seen it recently recently on coin this um is recent news with how the sec is probing board eight creator yuga labs over unregistered offerings all right 
Um, this is kind of the reason why I believe Omi isn't necessarily um, available in a lot of places, and it's very slow how they're rolling out Omi. Um, they're, I mean, I'm thankful for it because, yes, I don't want to be a part of a project that basically does not meet all the regulations and things, and the next thing I know is that I can't even hold it in the United States or something of that nature, okay? But the main thing here is that I wanted to point out in this article that it was something that um, I think the people need to pay attention to. All right, so um, we'll just go over this part real quick. It says that at issue, the source says, is whether some of Yuga's non-fungible tokens are closer to stocks and thus should follow the same disclosure rules. The key legal question at the center of the probe, according to Bloomberg, is whether NFTs are securities. A question it, the SEC has reportedly been investigating since March. People familiar with the matter said that said at the time that NFT creators and crypto exchanges were being looked at, okay? But um, again, it's the main part that I wanted to get to. Let's just jump to that part, all right? I think it's right in here. So Coindesk noted at the time that the accompanying press materials appeared to go to great lengths to distance Ape Dow's token lunch from the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT collection. That's because club-style NFTs with perks for long-term members and start to resemble investment contracts, potentially attracting the interest of the SEC. So I'm gonna read that one more time if you did not hear that last sentence. That's because club style NFTs with perks for long-term members can start to resemble investment contracts, potentially attracting the interest of the SEC. Now, I'm, I don't know what the branch is or the organizations are in other countries and everything because VV isn't necessarily a United States based um, company. Although they kind of cater the app towards the U.S. I mean, let's just be real and be honest about it. But they're not based in the U.S. You know, we know that Dan and David are from New Zealand and um, the company is based in like Singapore. So I'm not entirely sure how things would fully impact VV. But even so, though, we see things even with the recent uh, Star Wars debate and the other Star Wars NFT. I don't know that, but just dropping on wax and how you cannot get it in the United States. All right. Um, again, I'm I'm no financial uh, guru or expert or anything like that. I don't know how all this will work. But all I know is that this sounds like utility that people always beg and ask for. Why is not necessarily just automatically there, especially when you're talking about big IP or even a company that's trying to do their due diligence and make sure that they're walking along the right line as far as uh regulations and stuff goes so we'll go back over to the vv logo and let's just think about everything that everybody's screaming for the things that even vv is saying all right it clearly said that it can attract the attention of the sec if you have an nft in a sense and 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 you basically rewarding long term long term holders so to me that sounds like all right vv you created this all right this vv golden logo um silver uh, logo if you hold that, you're saying that people who hold it are able to get rewards, in a sense, at the physical events and locations. All I'm saying is that VV needs to tread lightly. lightly. And this goes back to why I'm saying that VV needs to just, just, just relax a little bit, stop feeling the pressure from the community, continue to do what you've been doing, in a sense, tread it lightly, Move at the pace that you need to move to, at to make sure that you are meeting all regulations and also future things that might come down the pipe because all this is still a very, very new industry. It will not just blast and guys just be realistic. It will not just continue to blow up and people make millions of dollars here and hundreds of thousands there or even thousands and thousands without governments taking attention and then wanting to regulate it. That's just the reality of the situation. So um, y'all let me know what your thoughts are, man, um, in the comments. If you like this uh, video, hit like, please, and uh, you know, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with what it is that I got going on. Uh, again, I just wanted to drop in, talk a few moments about uh, what I was thinking about. So y'all let me know what you're thinking in the comments. And have a blessed day. Be great. Y'all be easy. I'm out.